Welcome back, everyone, to another Wednesday morning slash afternoon, depending on where you are in the United States or the world. We have Pocket Stocks again today. Yes, another Pokemon pack opening day. Let's check it out. The PX logo Pocket Stocks is our Pokemon brand line, and we do 12 bundles that we put together of booster packs and different PSA graded cards every Wednesday morning. So we have another one up today which means that we need to randomize the packs for the 12 participants. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Well, actually, there's less than 12 participants because some people could or, uh, ordered more, but we have 12 bundles today. So here are the 12 people, or the 12 bundles, I should say. Here are the 12 numbers. And we're going to randomize these three times, and that's going to be the pack number you get. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We'll do it three times. 1, 2, and 3. Here are your numbers. You can access this sheet in the Google document, which is in the description of this video. What's up, Bennett? How's it going? Welcome, everyone, today. I am going to be right back. I'm going to have to print the labels for your packs. So just stand by. It'll be about two minutes. All right, guys, I'm back, and it's time to start it up. What's up, Greg? How's it going? Good to see you here on the Pokemon opening. That's right. I mean, a lot of people don't know a whole lot or know a little bit, but here we are to hopefully do some educating and hopefully learn from some others as well. Since I'm not the most knowledgeable, I do have some knowledge. But uh, Kevin MC, 
number one is the first bundle in this break. So good luck. All 12 bundles for today are sold out, but we do have more on the way next week. They will be going live at the end of this stream. No PSA slab in the first one. So this is one in four shot. There should be three PSA slabs throughout this opening. Good luck to everyone in today's Pokemon opening. And next week's bundles are going live after this opening. So at the very end of the stream, they'll go live on slabsacks.com slash shop. Sun and Moon, first pack. Hidden Fates, pack number two. Ho-Oh, promo is the non-graded. Burning Shadows with the ho -Oh, And then Crimson Invasion. Let's see if we can hit some secret rares today. We haven't hit one in a couple weeks, so let's see what we can do. Who has been going to McDonald's, everyone? McDonald's collabed with Pokemon on a 25th year anniversary set. And people are going nuts. Like, I saw people selling cases of those things. I don't know if employees were selling them or people was driving up to McDonald's and saying, hey, can I buy a full case or what's going on with that? But I had my roommate actually go and pick me up two packs last night from McDonald's. And I got two packs and I don't remember what the hollows were, but there's one hollow per pack. Pikachu is like an $80 non-graded card. Jangmu, Shelmet, Salandit, good luck, Kevin, Starly, Skidu, Octillery, Reverse Hollow. And guys, this is a rare for everyone watching. The bomb left, if you guys see that little star down there, that means rare. If it's a circle, that means common, and a diamond means uncommon. So it's Octillery rare right there. Rare Reverse Hollow. This is a rare non-hollow here of Miss... Magius, and then he got the base after that. What's up, Clark? Bennett, are you excited for your pack today? Sun and Moon is next. I think you have pack number nine, if I saw that correctly. Sun and Moon, Wingle to start. Snubble, Carvana, Zubat, Puplio, Reverse of Char Charchabug, and a Hollow of Arcanine. That's pretty awesome right there. It's a sweet looking card. Look at that. Arcanine, one of the original Pokemon from base set. And you got the base behind it. We got three shots today, Bennett. Or it's a one in four shot, I should say, but three slabs you could possibly get. I like this Arcanine, so we're going to put in a card saver because it's a really cool looking card. It's a rare holo. Uh, we won't be showing code cards because these people paid for these packs, so they'll be getting the code cards with their packs. If it was me just opening them, yeah, I'd be showing them for you. Oh yeah, of course, Bennett. Been hearing a lot of talk of this uh, Burning Shadows next, of this uh, McDonald's collaboration leading to even further uh, expansion in the market. And I just saw a tweet from Pokemon right before I went live that said that they're going to be reprinting as many sets as they can from recent years at maximum capacity, or I believe recent years um, sets that can be reprinted. Of course, like Wizards of the Coast sets cannot be reprinted. But uh, that will be interesting to see how much product comes in the market now. Meowth, Magikarp, Krogunk, Pikachu, Pansier, Reverse of Bufalant, and a Slowking non hollow All right, Hidden Fates to end it off here for Kevin. Good luck. Can we get a big hit to Hidden Fates? Last week, I believe we got the Glaceon uh, Shiny Vault full art of Hidden Fates, which has been our biggest hit yet of Hidden Fates for sure. We also hit a Charmeleon Shiny Vault last week. That was actually for Bennett S. All right, here we go. Pikachu. Jigglypuff. Ekans. Coughing. Cubone. A Sh Voltorb Shiny Vault. So got a Shiny Vault of this one for Kevin M. A Voltorb. And then a Snorlax Non-Hollow Rare. Then your base. What is the best Pokemon card? So are you saying like the best ever? The uh, Illustrator Pikachu seems to be 
the most expensive, or at least from what I've just briefly seen via social media. Oh, Bennett. Okay, I'll, I'll show the code card for Bennett's uh, pack. Thank you to Kevin M for the first bundle purchase. I appreciate that a lot. So when Bennett S's packs are up, I will show the code card for anyone that wants to snag that quick. But yeah, be quick if other people want it too. And we'll do that for four packs. Kevin M with bundle number one. Oh, okay. That's a that's a good question. What is the rare card that we're searching for out of these packs? So there are um we got number two next. Let me just move on to number two quickly for Kevin L. And no slab in this. So for the PX bundles, we do a thing where we make it like a one in four, a one in six, a one in three chance to get a either an old era low grade or a high grade new era card from Pokemon. And then we do four booster packs as well. So some of these packs, the best hit are probably the Charizards out of Burning Shadows, which is a $3,000 PSA 10, or the Hidden Fates one, which is like a $1,500 PSA 10. Um, those are the two biggest hits, I'd say. Steam Siege, Ultra Prism, Marshadow, GX, Hidden Fates, and an Evolutions. There's also some big Charizards out of the Evolutions set as well. We'll start with the Steam Siege for Kevin L. I'll show the code cards for Bennett S's packs only since he's the only one who said that I can do that. I mean, if anyone else has a bundle in here and they want to say that, sure thing. But I don't want to show them for other people that paid for them. Litwick, Mareep, Krogunk, Tangela, Rufflet, Clink Reverse, and a Bisharp Hollow Rare. And your base. So at bundle number nine, you'll be able to get some code cards. Ultra Prism time. There are some pretty pretty big cards that can come out of Ultra Prism. I think Leafeon, Secret Rares in this one. Chimchar. Pat Chis. Oh, that's a tough one. Pachirisu, Sandshrew, Vulpix. That is a Bronzor, Primplup, Reverse, and a Fan Rotom, non hollow rare. All right, Evolutions time. Good luck, Kevin L. Let's see what we can pull out of Evolutions. Can we get a Charizard hollow out of here? We hit the Reverse a few weeks ago, but no Charizard sighting since that. Diglett, Poliwag, Pikachu, Ponita, Nidoran, Reverse of Farfetch'd, and a Mew Hollow. That is a nice hit, actually. A Mew Hollow is a good one to get if you're not going to hit Charizard. And honestly, the centering is... Pretty nice on this. Like I've been saying, Evolutions, super tough set to grade. The centering is quite poor on a lot of cards you pull. And then the Charizard Hollows has a ton of print lines on it normally. But as far as the centering goes on this Mew, that is a beauty. I'd for sure be grading that one, Kevin L, if you can. And I know that uh, nines and tens sell well of this card. And the Hollow looks beautiful on that. Look at that thing. Super, super nice card here of evolutions for Kevin L. Definitely a nice way to get started today. Yeah, a couple cards left. Is there any secret rares behind it? Nope. All right, Hen Fates to end it off. For Kevin L. Coughing. Paris, Cubone, Voltorb, Geodude, 
We have a Rowlet, Shiny Vault. So the first two Hidden Fates packs both yield Shiny Vault cards. Rowlet, Shiny Vault. And then a Kangas Khan non hollow rare. The Mew is definitely the best hit out of those packs. Exactly. See, a lot of these cards, you got to be grading them to really extract your most value out of them. If you want to. Not everyone wants to do that, though. But, uh, like, that Mew Hollow, like Bennett just said, uh, non-graded, it's $10. But if you get a clean copy and you can hit a 10, 200 plus. I'm sure a 9 would go for, you know, $70 or so. It's just a guess. Maybe a little lower, maybe a little higher. That was bundle number two. All right, number three, Thomas S. What do we got here, Thomas? Boom, we got a slab. The first slab of the day of bundle number three for Thomas S. Let's look at the packs now. We got Hin Fates, Sun and Moon, a Leafeon promo, a Breakpoint pack, and another Sun and Moon. So we'll start with the Sun and Moon, do the Hidden Fates, or do the Breakpoint, then the Hidden Fates, and then the PSA Slab. All right, Sun and Moon first. Pharaoh, Paris, Lillipup, Bond Sweets, Dupider, Reverse of Snubble, in a Shenotic Hollow. Guy's looking kind of funky there. Yeah, uh, XY Evolutions cards are worth a lot as 10s. We got a hit in this Sun and Moon pack. Let's see what we got. Morlow. Skarmory, which I love Skarmory. That's such a cool looking card right there. Poliwag. Sandy Gast. Eevee. Bond Sweet, and it is stuck a little. There we go. We got a trainer of Lily. That's a full art trainer there of Lily. It's a beautiful card. Really awesome. Got the sunburst around her hat. What's up, Megan? How's it going? Welcome, thanks for joining today's uh, chat and today's Pokemon bundle break. The first full art of the day goes to Thomas S. We got the base. Breakpoint. Looking for that gold Gyarados. Can we get it one of these times? I'll lose my mind if we do. All right, Pet Petalil, Rattata, Nummel, Electabuzz, Ferrisseed, Reverse of Furfro, and Eradicate non hollow Rare. All right, Hidden Fates, and then we're on to the PSA. Guys, we are like within 10 subscribers of 9K on YouTube. So thank you all for that. I do really appreciate that. And the team does too. We're working hard to release a bunch of videos. Psyduck, Staryu, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Pikachu, of Alolan Vulpix. So the first three. Oh, and a hit behind it. Legendary Birds GX. Wow, two hits in that Hidden Fates pack. That is a double banger. Uh, the full art trainer, I'll show it one more time here. That's Those are some good packs there for Thomas S. And we got the PSA slab coming up. And the Vulpix is very well centered too. I love Alolan Vulpix. I love the color blue. So 
The blue Vulpix just is so cool to me. What a beautiful looking card there. Then your base on the back. The trainer card was of Lily. The hat is like sunburst. It's so cool up there. Then the tag team of Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno for the legendary birds. A nice GX hit right there. I love this card too. For normal GX, that's one of the coolest I've seen. So cool. So really, really great hidden fates pack there. And we got a PSA slab too for Thomas. So let's see what we got, buddy. We got a Poliwhirl from Expedition in 2002, the e-reader series. Some of the coolest sets, in my opinion, have came out of the e-reader series between Expedition and Sky Ridge and Aquapolis. This is a PSA 7 Poliwhirl reverse hollow. He's looking like a champ right there. Got his fists in the air. Rocky Balboa style. Super cool card. I love I love the reverse with these cool colors down here too. That was PSA slab numero uno for today's break. So many hits. Might need another team bag for the other cards. I think we will. Yo, Bennett, I was wondering if a PSA 10 of those things were big. Lily Full Art. Bennett did some research and it's a $400 PSA 10. According to Bennett S. Uh, Oliver, what's up? I was just talking about it earlier in this chat. Uh, people are going nuts for them. Pikachu's an $80 non-graded card. Thomas S., great packs and great slab. You did really well there. That's an awesome bundle. That's probably one of the best bundles we've had yet of all the bundles. Uh, Hidden Fates is inside of these bundles, yes. And in the future, we will be having some Champions Path in them, too. Jake J. with bundle number four. No PSA slab in bundle number four, but we do got some packs, of course, for Jake J. All right, we've got Burning Shadows, <clears throat> Steam Siege, Charizard Hidden Promo, Hidden Fates Promo. I will say, you got the Charmander Hidden Fates Shiny Vault that I threw in there for you because this Charizard Hidden Fates Promo is pretty severely damaged on the bottom. They got caught in the packaging when they produced it, but just thought I'd still put it in there with you for you because it's still it's a cool Charizard card. But the Charmander Hidden Fates Shiny Vault's a big card, so congrats on that. It is pretty well centered too. Hidden Fates and Sun and Moon. Yeah, we are gonna have some of the Shining Fates in stock. I don't know exactly when, but we will, Megan. So thank you for asking that. We are starting off with Sun and Moon, I believe. I just opened the pack for. And look, Grubbin, Drowsy, Cabrawler, Sandile, Meowth, Reverse of Crushing Hammer, and a Toke. Well, that's a super tough one to say. I have zero idea how to say that first word. Togix, Pex. <laughs> Lily is considered the waifu of the full art trainer cards. What does that even mean? Whatever it means, it probably means it's sick, though, because it's $400 PSA 10. It's an awesome pull. Wow. Steam Siege. Hey, it's Dino Boy. We'll be showing them for bundle number nine. Uh, please don't spam the chat, though. Otherwise, we'll have to take some measures. This is Steam Siege here. Fungus. Game day, what's up? How's it going? Nidoran, Oshawott, Pawniard, Tangela, Meowth Reverse, and a Hydragon, Hydragon Hollow. Toxapax, maybe that's how you say it.
Burning Shadows is up next. I'm still pretty pumped. That last bundle was huge for Thomas. Let's get something else here for uh, Jake. Let's make some more sweet pulls happen. Sneasel. Vulpex. Horsia. Noibet. Grimer. Reverse of Caterpie. And a Tox Toxicroak. Yeah, we're doing soccer at 3 p.m. Eastern time. If you guys are interested in soccer cards or just sports in general, come and hang out. Have some awesome products we're opening today. Some select soccer, which I absolutely love to select any sport. So uh, it's going to be awesome. Hint Fates to end it off for Jake J. Good luck. Let's see if we can get a Shiny Vault, Hint Fates, Full Art, Pikachu, Magikarp, Coughing, Clefairy, a Reverse of Metapod, and a Brox Training Hollow. So no Full Art there. But Jake, I do... Appreciate you joining in on today's PX Bundle Break. I think you have some later too, though. So let's see if we can get you a slab later or a big hit. All right, number five, Nathan A. No PSA slab for number five, but we do have an Evolutions pack to start. Last time Evolutions gave us the Mew Hollow. Let's see what it gives us this time. Crimson Invasion, a Gyarados, Hen Fates, Promo, Ultra Prism, and Hen Fates. Start with the Crimson Invasion for Nathan W. Magikarp, Bunnelbly, Shellos, Remoraid, Mankey, Reverse of Salandit, and a Regice. We've hit that one a few times now of Crimson Invasion. Regice Hollow. I really do like that card too. Ultra Prism. Can we get a Seeker Rare? I've been waiting. I've been waiting. Also, I gotta update that custom count that is not supposed to say $40 for today. It should say zero. Hopefully, we can get it to 40 between now and the uh, end of the soccer today. Sneasel, Magnemite, Cheruby, Bunnyary, Hippopotas, Chimchar Reverse, and a Salazzle non hollow. Taka, yes, last night I had my roommate go and grab uh, two packs. From from McDonald's, I opened them last night. I didn't get much. Uh, two hollows of Pokemon. I don't remember. How do you grab packs? Says Megan. Megan slash shop We are putting up twelve more bundles at the end of the stream. Last week they sold out uh, by the middle of the day of Wednesday. So be sure to uh, be on that because you'll have the first chance to grab some bundles for next week. Also, there's going to be two pretty sweet cards offered for the bundles, uh, the the PSA slabs. The two PSA slabs are going to be pretty sweet. And, uh, Tech, thank you. I hope you're having a great day, too. It's going well. Vulpix, Electabuzz, Magikarp, Ghastly. We got a hit in here. Sandshrew, a reverse of Brock's Grit, and a Pidgeot EX. That's a sick card. Pidgeot EX. What a beauty. Brock's, or sorry, Professor Oak's hint and base. That EX is just beautiful. Full art EX hit out of Evolutions. Yeah, I, they were going for like 90 raw. The last I saw. Now they're up to 200 maybe. Pidgeot EX. I also saw a tweet. Uh, some of you, Some of you already heard this. I saw a tweet from Pokemon right... Um, right before I went live that said uh, that they're reprinting as many sets as they can to meet the high demand so everyone can get Pokemon cards so and not be surprised if they end up 
going and sending out a ton more of those uh, McDonald's packs to different locations. We'll see, though. All right, Hidden Fates. Maybe they don't do that. Maybe it's a super scarce set. Hidden Fates ended off for Nathan. A good luck. Charmander. Slowpoke. Psyduck. Pikachu. Magikarp. Reverse of Coughing. And a Blaine's Last Stand non hollow. Nathan A, that was your bundle. Thank you for jumping in. I appreciate that. Hey, uh. Bennett, why don't you do me a favor and look up how much a uh, PSA 9 or 10 of that Pidgeot EX is from XY Evolutions. Any good pull for now? Uh, we hit a Lily Trainer full art, which goes for like $400 as a PSA 10. Number five, that was. All right, we are on a number six for Matt M. Good luck, Matt. What does number six have? It's got a slab. Number six has a slab. Congrats to Matt on that slab. Let's see what it is after we do our packs. Sun and Moon. Crimson Invasion. Sylveon. Ultra Prism. And Hidden Fates. Um, we are not going to be doing any McDonald's pack openings on this channel, like selling the packs. Um, would much rather have people get the packs. I want to open them. Um, cause this is a promo for McDonald's, but, uh, you know, I, I opened to myself personally last night just for fun. Crimson invasion. Tech. That's exactly what you should be doing for sure. Bennett, you're number nine. Bennett, you are bundle number nine. If you go and look at the sheet. You are number nine. Jigglypuff. Honduras. Pikachu. Skidoo. Starly. Punkaboo. And a Salazzle. Hollow. We are number six right now for Matt M. Sun and Moon Pack. All right, Grubbin to start. Pharaoh, Snubble, Sandile, Pika Pack, Alolan Grimer, and a Beware Non Hollow Rare. Rainbow Energy, sick looking card. Uh, yes, I'll, I'll say uh, it's done, oh boy. All right, Ultra Prism. Lucky Tongue. Chimchar, that's a dope-looking card. Holy cow, look at that Chimchar, guys. Imagine that in a, in a hollow if they made one, which they didn't. But Chimchar, super sweet-looking card. Bunnyary. Carnivine, Reverse of Licky, Licky Licky, and a Fan Rotom again. We got that one last time, or two times ago. Hint Fates for Matt M. Can we pull something huge? got a shiny full art in this pack. I just saw a little sneak peek. Coughing. Ekans. Cubone. What do we got? Magikarp. Geodude. And a Kartana. This is the third Kartana we've pulled. GX shiny full art. Still a sweet card. Definitely. Ooh, and an Eevee hollow behind it. Definitely always awesome to hit any uh, GX shiny full art. Matt M, the Hidden Fates poll. 
It's the first of the day on the shiny full art. <laughs> licky, licky. It takes a second once you look at it to say it. <laughs> Definitely a sick card. Love those things. All right, Matt M., what do we got for PSA slab number two in today's opening? Let's see. We have a Dratini PSA 8 reverse foil. This one's also a 2002 expedition. Dratini, a very popular Pokemon to get. Reverse hollow numbered or PSA 8. Beautiful card here. I love the coloring again. So cool. So, so cool. A beauty. Congrats to Matt M on snagging the PSA slab, the Dratini. From 2002 Expedition. One of the last few Wizards of the Coast sets that were made. That was number six. All right, on to number seven. Number seven is for Jake J again. Good luck, Jake. No PSA slab in this one. But let's see what packs we got. We got Hin Fates, Crimson Invasion, and the Kramza. A Crimson Invasion again and another Hidden Fates. So we got a double Hidden Fates pack here for Jake J. That's a really nice way to get some uh, top packs right there. Two Hidden Fates packs. Let's see what comes out of the Crimson Invasion. Maybe can snag a snag a hit of one of these two. Spoink. Mistrevis. Pikachu. Chimichu. Magikarp. Reverse of Regirock. And a Cac turn. The Reggie Rock is a rare reverse hollow, though. All right. And then the next Crimson Invasion pack we have. Executes. Weedle, Shellos, Bonably, Can Cacnea, Reverse of Spoink, and a Cacturn again on Hollow. Same card in that rare spot. All right, two hand fates packs. Let's see what we can do, Jake. Can we get a shiny fort of this for you? I hope so. Paris, Caterpie. Charmander, Clefairy, Psyduck, a Malamar. This is a Shiny Vault non full art, then a Lapras. The centering is quite off on this card. Then you've got your base. All right, last hint face packing for Jake Jane. I still forgot to reset the Kesson count. I'll make sure I do that. Right after this pack. Magikarp. Staryu. Slowpoke. Voltorb. Pikachu. A reverse of Golem and... A Onyx GX hit. Then you got your base. All right, Jake, thank you for getting that second one there. <coughs> uh, Tech says, with the 25th anniversary of Pokemon on the way, do you foresee a big spike in the market like I do? Um, just based off of what's been going on right now with the McDonald's thing, that's kind of the first 25th year anniversary thing that they've done. Uh, I would say yes. I don't know where it's going to be, if it's going to be with some modern, if it's going to be with some vintage, if it's going to be with some really low pop 
Wizards of the Coast stuff that can't get reprinted. Um, I don't know where it's going to be, but I think that there's going to be very diff uh, a lot of different thriving areas for sure. Sealed product. That was number seven. All right. Number eight. It's for Richard S. R Richard S. with number eight. No slab in this one. We do have evolutions, though, which has been good to us so far. Hidden Fates as well. Gyarados. Promo. Sun and Moon. And a break point. All right, let's see what we can do, Richard. Torkoal. Litten. Stuffle. Eevee. Dupiter. Reverse of... Boldor and a Gumshoes GX. That one's interesting looking. Base. I think the same about that tag. Are right, we got Breakpoint next? Psyduck, Phantom, Glammeow, Gibble, Chikorita, Reverse of Electabuzz, and a Lilligant, non hollow rare. All right, evolutions time. Vulpix, Sandshrew, Onyx, Magikarp, Energy, a Reverse of Venusaur Spirit Link, and a Electrode non hollow and a Base Venusaur Spirit Link. The coloring is really cool in this one, too. It's pretty iridescent. <laughs> Electabuzz does have that dad bod. All right, Hen Fates Pack. Mew on the front. All right. Pikachu, Ekans, Coughing. What do we got, Richard? Cubone. And a Mewtwo GX Hidden Fates Shiny Vault Full Art. For Richard S. Congrats, Richard. The biggest slash second biggest hit of the day goes to Richard S. in bundle number eight with the Mewtwo Full Art Shiny GX out of the Mew Pack. There we go. Nice hit, Richard. Congrats. Mewtwo GX Four. I love the sunburst on these cards, so sweet. Uh, the last pack for Richard. Congrats, buddy. All right, now we are on to bundle number nine for Bennett S. Yeah, that was a big hit right there. Absolutely a big hit for Richard S. Glad we got a big shiny full art there. Really awesome. Still on the hunt for the Charizard. That's a really good one right there. Uh, number eight. All right, number nine is for Bennett S here. Good luck, man. We will be showing the code cards for Bennett S's pack, so get ready if you are interested in that. What do we got of uh, number nine? We got it, Bennett. There we go. You got one of the slabs, my man. Of number nine. The last slab of the day goes to Bennett S. Burning Shadows is your first pack as well. Steam Siege. We have a Glaceon promo. Sun and Moon and Hidden Fates. 
You got it, buddy. I know you said you really want to get one. Well, there we go. Rollet, Torkel, Zubat, Grubbin, Growlithe, Ultra Ball, Desaduye. Oh, I realized that I forgot that the Ultra Ball was the reverse. <laughs> and there's the code card. I know someone in here is asking for the code cards. So pause it. There you go. All right, Steam Siege up next. Bennett's on pins and needles right now to figure out what his uh, slab is. He hasn't said anything yet. And Jeffrey Fogel in the chat. Welcome, man. Am, am I going to see you? I will see you on the 27th in Miami. For anyone wondering, we are co I'm co-hosting a card show in Miami, Florida on February 27th from 2 to 7 p.m. Eastern time. Check out Slab Stocks on Instagram to see the details. I'm super excited for that. And it looks like I get to meet Jeffrey there, so can't wait. Rufflets, Chimchar. Whoa, that is a sweet-looking card. Xerneas Break. That is a sweet-looking card. The Xerneas Break with the Mosaic. Then uh, Avalug. Oh, and then the code card. Pause it. All right, Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. Let's get the Charizard. What if we hit the Charizard? Oddish. Charmander. Meryl. Pansage. Esper. Kaiwi. And Tangrowth Non Hollow Rare. And then the Code Card. Hen Fates. Can we do it again? Back to back packs. Eevee. Caterpie. Paris. Ekans. Psyduck. Reverse of Koga's Trap. And a Butterfree non hollow rare. But that's okay because we have got. The PSA slab and Jeffrey Fogel, I appreciate it as always. You know that. Thank you so much for that five dollar donation. Yours really do stack up, and the kids appreciate it for sure too. So I'll add that to the custom count once we show this PSA slab for Bennett. Ask good luck. Let's see what we got. Oh, we have a Dialga Level X PSA eight from two thousand eight Diamond and Pearl Great Encounters. These Level X are so fantastic and beautiful. This is a just spectacular card. I love the gold etching around the lettering. Dialga won the legendary Pokemon, the one from Diamond. Congrats to Ben S. This is one of my favorite PSA slabs that we've done in this in the uh, PX packs. I can guarantee you that. And it's an absolutely beautiful card. PSA 8. Congrats to Ben S. With bundle number 9. I know you really want to get a slab one of these times. So really pumped for you, buddy. And thank you so much for joining, too. All right, on to number 10. There we go, Jeffrey added it. All right, Richard again with number 10. Can we hit him another big one after that Mewtwo? Ben, thoughts on your bundle? 
Trying to see you talking in here. All right, Breakpoint is up first for Richard S. Then in Evolutions, Raichu, GX, Hidden Fates promo. Hidden Fates and Burning Shadow. So that was a loaded pack uh, combination there. That's definitely some of the best packs to, to get out of these. So let's see what we get. Good luck to Richard. All right, Skorupi, Petillil, Petillil, Pancham, Growlithe, Esper, Luxray, and a Golduck non-hollow rare. Burning Shadows. Ryolu, Cutie Fly, Tynamo, Duskull, Inkay, Reverse of Morlul, and a Lysenrock Hollow. No, that's a level X Hollow, Bennett. That's that's not a Reverse Hollow. It does look like that it it does cover the whole card. The Hollow. Oh, uh, there's probably no more code cards for the rest of this uh, opening. It, that's a level X hollow. Those are really great cards of the uh, Diamond and Pearl era. I, I love those cards. Evolutions. Doduo, which is miscut, I believe. Maybe not, just maybe bad scenery. Pikachu, Machop, Growlithe, Onyx. Reverse a Venus or Spirit Link again in a Beedrill non hollow. All right, Hen Fates. Good luck, Richard. Let's see if we can end it off with a bang again for you on Hen Fates. Clefairy, Eevee. Ekans, Paris, Caterpie, Reverse of Pikachu, that's a nice reverse, and a Jesse and James, Hollow. It's a nice reverse, though, one of the better ones you can get out of this set. Obviously, it's Pikachu. Thank you to Richard S. for grabbing two bundles today. Alexander J with number 11. Hint fates on top. Let's see what else comes in here. Hint fates. Steam Siege. Ho ho. Breakpoint. And another hint fates. So two hint fates. Got the Xerneas pack. Oh, Alex, hello. You're in the chat today. Says something once his uh, packs pop up. Let's get you something huge out of those Hidden Fates packs. Ponyard. Joltik. Clink. Tangela. Krogunk. Reverse of Mankey. And, whoa, that is a sweet-looking trainer card. Professor Sycamore. 
That is 114 out of 114 on the number of the card in the set. A trainer supporter card, full art for Alex J. That's a sweet looking card. Centering is actually appears to be pretty decent on this too. Sometimes hard to get those trainers well centered, but uh, it looks pretty good to me. Super, super cool trainer card there. Full art. Professor Sycamore. If you love trainers, then that's the card for you. Congrats. Still have three more packs left. Breakpoint. Phantom. Glamiao. Honedge. Ducklet. Trubbish. Golduck. And a Hypno. Non hollow rare. Golduck is a rare, though, reverse. All right, two hand face packs. It's been a really good opening so far today. And another full art in here. Coughing, Clefairy, Staryu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, uh, Feramosa, that is an Ultra Beast Shiny Vault and a double banger because we have a Giovanni's Exile Trainer Supporter right behind it. Full art, so look at that. A double banger of him fates for Alex. The surface is looking really whack on that. I don't. That's how it got printed, I guess. I know I've seen other ones like that too. Maybe the newer print, they did that to it. Two trainers. Alex says he loves trainers. Well, there you go. Two trainers. And then also the shiny vault. Feramosa. All right, hen fates. Second pack. Or last pack, but second hidden fates pack for Alex. Let's see if we can get another hit in here. Slowpoke. Psyduck. Pikachu. Magikarp. Coughing. Reverse of Clefable or Clefable and Blaine's last stand. Got some nice hits though in there, Alex, for sure. Two full arts and a shiny vault. Thank you, Alex, for grabbing bundle number 11. And to end the day, Jake J is back with number 12. And right after this bundle, next week's are going live. PX Packs number 8. We're already on our 8th week next week. So those are going to go live. It's going to be a 1 in 6 shot at a PSA slab. And the two that are going to be in there are going to be really dope. So pretty excited for that. Ultra Prism. Breakpoint. Leafeon GX promo. Sun and Moon. And a Hidden Fates to end the day. Let's see what we can do, Jake. Makuhita, Shelder, Togedemaru, Stuffle, Wingle, Reverse of Grubbin, and a Cosmion. Still on the search for some secret rare cards. Haven't hit any today, haven't hit any for a few weeks, but we did get some really awesome hits today. I will say this has been a really good day of hits. We got Froki, Clefairy, Growlithe, Drowsy, Cricketot, Cricketune from Cricketot right before it. 
and a Seismato non hollow rare. All right, Ultra Prism. We got Sneasel, Eevee, Magmar, Morlol, Piplup, Reverse of Mars, and a Roserade non hollow rare. All right, let's get some hollows here. Let's hit something out of this last hand fates pack for Jake. Good luck. Jake grabbed three today, so I'm very appreciative of that. Thank you. All right, let's get a hit. Let's get a hit. Eevee, Clefairy, Caterpie, Ekans, Paris, Reverse Energy, and a Blaine's Last Stand non hollow. Kind of light on the hits in the last packs there, but most of the day we were hitting a ton of stuff. All right, Jake. Well, thank you for jumping on all those bundles. I hope you enjoy the cards. Very fun day again. Very fun day. Lots is going on in the Pokemon world. We try to do our best to cover it as much as we can, time permitting. But we do have a lot more on the way, actually, for Pokemon content on Pocket Stocks and Instagram. So you might want to check that out. At Pocket Stocks. P O K E T N O C. But next week's bundles. That was number 12. Next week's 12 bundles are going live right now. So if you go to slapsocks.com slash shop, I just hit publish. They should be there. And you all can buy one. So 12 bundles for next week. Limited of three bundles per customer. Just want to thank everyone once again for watching and interacting and buying bundles if you did for today. If you did, I still really appreciate you joining and just chatting in here. Anyone can, is welcome to come talk, Pokemon, sports cards, whatever you want. And with that, I'll be back at 3 p.m. Eastern time today with soccer. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next week for another Pokemon opening.